Hello, and welcome back to Pyro 5610. Today I have two guests with me, two, and we're gonna be going over a couple different things. Uh, I had an actual special request about doing a concealed carry um, episode. I don't uh, necessarily conceal with this on. It's October, it's like 89 degrees outside. I don't understand why, but um, normally I do conceal carry and I, generally have bulkier clothes on. I don't have a holster for my Taurus, which I used to. Um, my dog decided it would be a good late night snack. So I am in the process of getting one. They're very hard to get to. So right now I just carry my 1911, but we're gonna go over today what we carry on a daily basis, not just guns, but everything else that we carry. And we'll show you that and we'll go over each gun and be shooting them down range. The last time I was on, you, uh, I didn't get to record it because I accidentally bumped the camera but I completely mowed down the entire range. So I had to reset it once again. Hopefully this time it all stays up. I, re I had to do that eight inch gong again, but uh, I think I got it set so it's not gonna be falling over anytime soon. We'll be back with the uh, different things we carry. So first off, we're gonna go over what we carry every day. This is Tyler, uh, my first guest, the, your neighborhood friendly tree. So right pocket, carry phone. Obvious necessity, case of emergency. In the left pocket, I have my flashlight, which I showed in the other video and it lit up the entire range. I carry my wallet in my left pocket here. Back left, necessities. <laughs> and then my back right, I carry my wallet. In, my, for my tertiary, or my primary weapon, I carry the 1911. It is my primary, got my uh, Hornaday critical defense there. Uh, my primary. Got a Gen 3 Glock 23. He got that at a real nice price too. Um, for my knife, I carry a Butterfly Standard. I bought this back in 7th grade. I didn't buy it because I wanted a Butterfly. I bought it because it was camo. Uh, but it's primary carry. It's one of my favorites to carry. What do you carry for a knife? Uh, I carry here a Kershaw Amplitude 2.5, small, easy conceal. And then for the tertiary weapon, of course, in case of any problems, we always have our katanas, which we will be showing off as well today. So let's get back to the real meat and potatoes of this video. Um, I actually have a couple guns that I carry, just honestly depends on my mood. Obviously the 1911 always shoots for me. It's really easy to conceal in the truck. I will show you that right now. I have a nice PUG holster. It sits right here, and my gun sits right here. It's perfect for driving. Um, it's right in access. There's Clara, uh, first video appearance. And then I have a couple other guns that I carry on, just depending on the day. If I had the holster, I will carry my Millennium. Um, it shoots the same thing. My 1911 shoots the Hornaday critical defense six round mag and then if I want to carry I also have this is my girlfriend's gun she has her concealed carry too so she'll carry it on occasion this is the eight round mag it also has a six round but as you can see right here uh, without the six round with the six round mag it doesn't have this extension right here and your pinky falls off so the eight rounds just not it's not just because it carries more it's more comfortable to carry as well um i'll be going over this a little bit more tyler's going to go over what he carries the two different guns that he carries on a daily basis all right so normally what i carry is this glock 23 uh gen 3. Uh, if you look close i did my own stippling job on it right there and the holster i use for that is a vetter i believe the vetter light tuck it's one of my favorite concealed carry holsters my other gun here, Glock 43. Uh, as you can see, it's definitely custom, very custom. Got an American flag there. Uh, I got the Cerakoting done at a local store. One of my buddies did it for me. Uh, and the holster I use for that is the TXC or TXC Ally, as well as the TXC Ally for the Colonel Blade Low VZ. One of my favorite concealed carry knives, as you can see. Second guest on today's episode is none other than my father, Craig. He uh, doesn't have a name. I mean, you know me as Pyro and Tyler, your friendly neighborhood tree. This is just 
Craig. He's going to be going over the guns that he carries. Um, he carries one on the outside and one on the inside, depending on his mood as well. Because, like I said, this is not the weather. Usually in this weather, I'm wearing a hoodie, and that will easily conceal my 1911 or anything else I'm carrying outside the waistband. But inside the waistband, he carries uh, one in his pocket, or he'll carry one on the outside. So we'll go from there. I'll put that in the video. <laughs> yeah. This here is a Smith & Wesson SD40VE. Uh, have a SIGTAC holster that I modified because the gun was too long and I usually carry it on my hip. And my other gun is a Ruger LC9S and I have just a little pocket pouch that I put it on and I put it in the back to carry. Alright, so we'll get back to the video. Um, we're going to move up range just a little bit. We're going to carry all our guns. And I've got two, no, I, got, I bought three pumpkins. And I bought a couple gallons of, or two liters. And we're going to be shooting at all the different targets that we have out here. And uh, just make a, everyone carry something different. So we're just going to go over what we carry. And hopefully this video helps you out as to what your next concealed carry can be. Okay, so first up is glue. Uh, Tyler's Glock 19, is that correct? I don't know No, Glocks. this is 43. That's a 43. I don't know the difference in Glocks because I hate Glocks. Good. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> to figure out where they're shooting. Um, not sure where Tyler hit here. I think these two might have, these three might have been Tyler. They look fairly fresh. Dad hit all three right here. I was aiming for the head and hit two down here. And maybe that one. Yeah, I bet you I hit that one too. So all kind of, dads were the best grouped. So um, we'll get back to Tyler's Glock. 23. 23. All right, so here's the Glock 23 and we'll see how it compares to a 43. Okay, so comparison, um, the Glock 23 feels good in your hand. It's a little bit bigger to carry, but I did like how it shot and the 40 cal in that did not, I mean, it didn't feel like anything compared to, I mean, it was a little bit heavier than a nine, but I'm used to shooting a 45, so it wasn't nothing. The nine didn't hold up as well in the hand. It's just, the grip is really small and I'm not saying I've got big hands by any means, but still small for my hands what's your compare what's your take on the two guns honestly i would prefer the 23 uh it is yeah bigger and it's a lot heavier than the 43 uh the thing about the 43 is though when you have the flush fit magazine obviously if you have bigger hands like myself your pinky and sometimes your ring finger or i guess not no your pinky is going to be hanging off the edge so that's why i have an extension so you can really get a better grip on it but again, it is a single stack and it is a lot smaller than the 23, so I usually just carry the 23. Okay, now we'll get to dad's guns. Um, he didn't mention the LC9S is the is a nine millimeter and his Smith & Wesson is a 40. The LC9S, um, I'm not sure what you guys have heard on the LC9, but I heard that it had a very crappy trigger on it. The LC9S, however, has an upgraded trigger. That thing is smooth as butter. I love shooting that gun. So we're gonna get to that one next. The Smith and Wesson 40 cal.
My turn. Charger's a little bit different on this one. Alright, I'm happy with that. Oh boy. That doesn't kick as much as I remember. <laughs> Trigger pull is long. I was, I was so, <laughs> yeah. so ready for that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the 40, like you said, carries on his waist on the back here though. You cannot actually, he doesn't print at all. He just has a t-shirt on. There's nothing on underneath and he has his, Ooh, look at that. He has his, Ruger right there. So we're going to uh, go ahead and shoot that one next. Ah. Do you have a safety on this or is it just a trigger? Just a trigger. Maybe it is safety is so. on. Oh, there you go. There we go. I was like, that's a really heavy trigger pull. I just want to say the trigger pull on this. Also, if you notice, this has like a little dovetail right here. So that, that it takes care of that smallness right there. But the trigger pull on this is like butter. Oh my God. You'll have to shoot this thing, Tyler. Thank Obviously two totally different guns in this episode, um, but we're gonna go over impressions. Honestly, I the first time I shot Dad's Smith & Wesson, I've shot it several times, um, but the first couple times I shot it, it, uh, it definitely had a different type of recoil to it, which I wasn't used to. My smaller 45 actually kicks less than that gun. Um, but this time around, like I said, I'm used to shooting the 45 much more now, and even my 1911. And I didn't feel the kick on that one as much. Um, it was definitely more than the Glock, but still less. The Ruger, however, that trigger you have to get used to because it's so smooth that it feels like you're breaking a piece of string. Um, those are my impressions on those two guns. Tyler, what do you have to say? What are talking about? Dad's guns. Oh. Honestly, I like them a lot. I definitely wasn't ready for the longer trigger pull because I'm, I'm, I'm a Glock guy, so I definitely am used to the Glock trigger as opposed to the Smith & Wesson trigger. Uh, the small one, the uh, the Ruger. Yeah. Uh, that was, I would probably pick that over my Glock 43. <laughs> <laughs> just the trigger is just so damn nice. It is just super smooth, crazy smooth. Your impressions. I like them both. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So now we'll move on to um, my girlfriend's nine millimeter, and then the uh, 245s that I have. So this is the uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 9 Shield. They make them in 40 as well. Obviously, like I said, I bought this for my girlfriend. So she, um, I knew she would like a 9 more than a 40 because it would probably kick more. But if I were to get one, I would definitely get the Gen 2. They look really nice. Haven't gotten out to get one yet, but I might switch over to a 40 cal for my concealed carry. Has an 8-round mag. Like I said, the uh, extended clip on that. Um, I'll just get to shooting it and... Uh, it's been a while since I've shot this one. I can't remember if Tyler shot this one the last time we were at the range, but this might be his first time shooting it. So obviously dad shot that one before. So next we're going to get to the Millennium. This was my first gun, do not judge. It's a Taurus 45 cal, six round mag. Um, it was my first gun. I wanted something big to carry when after I started carrying. Obviously uh, I went with the old motto, buy one, buy once, cry once. Um, it's a good gun. 
it just doesn't shoot like I want it to. Um, it has a very special feature, which I'll show you right here. Um, so load one up and it's got a little indicator right here. It's hard to see. I think all the red wore off of it because it wasn't used, but it shows you right there that one's in. But we've all played Call of Duty games and we all know that once you shoot once, you reload. So this one actually has that automatic feature. If you hold it up and fire once, it already drops the mag for you. It's great. I'm just kidding. It's not supposed to do that. So in order to combat that, you really have to hold down on the bottom, which really messes up with the way you're shooting. So it just needs TLC. I really do love this gun, I swear. Yeah, I lost one of the night sights. I know it needs it needs a lot of TLC. Supposed to do that? <laughs> I told you, it just needs TLC. It's a really good gun. I mean, I bought it used. There's one more in there. Is there? I I don't. <laughs> it was a good gun when I bought it. I swear. I'm gonna take it to the gunsmith and hopefully he can fix it. There we go. All right, six rounds through it. It's accurate at this distance, truthfully, once you get used to the recoil. So next we'll be going over my personal favorite, the 1911. So now that I'm back, I, I realized I still had the Hornaday's in there. These are full metal jackets. Um, one in the tube. If you want to carry it loaded, you can. There is a safety here, which prevents me from pulling the trigger. Um, just the slide safety there. I love it. <laughs> Did you hear that? A Glock guy just said he loves a 1911. Let's get a round of applause for Tyler here. One thing I did want to show off to this too, um, unlike the regular 1911s at Rock Island Armory sells, this is the bull barrel. So it is a much heavier barrel, which does help with stability. Um, the 45, the Millennium, like I said, first gun, bought it when I turned 21. It was my first concealed carry. Won something small, I wanted something that would pack a punch. Now that I know more and I'm much smarter, I obviously shot a lot more guns since then. I still like the 45 round. It just has the meat and potatoes to it. And I've shown you several times what it'll do to a pumpkin. Um, I've shown you several times what it'll do to a pumpkin. So you can imagine what it would do to a human if that need ever arose. Um, obviously my 1911 is more of a truck gun. I can carry it when I have a heavier coat or even a hoodie on. Ashley Smith & Wesson. Uh, it's perfect for her. She can carry it in her purse without being noticed she can carry it uh, on her person's inner pocket it's a very small gun for that but um, I might actually end up buying one of those for my concealed carry in a 40 cal because it's the it's the exact same size everything's the exact same except the round and the barrel are different thoughts on the on my guns I like the 1911 more than I thought I would uh, but with the 1911 you're obviously with a full-size gun you got a single stack, so you're very limited on your ammunition. That's, I mean, that's obviously a given. Most people's problem with it. Uh, the other two, I really don't. I mean, they're they're nice guns, but I think I'd still choose a Glock over them. <laughs> Fair enough, Craig. I like the 1911, but it is a big gun to carry. Okay. I realized after Tyler's guns, we didn't really go over because we were just shooting. Most of our rounds hit. But here is the damage, um, most of our rounds. So you can see we only had eight, six round mags. Um, couple here in the pumpkin, one up here. Did pretty well for what we were shooting. Some of it, some of us, it was our first time shooting these guns. So 
Thanks for watching Pyro 5610. I will see you next time.